Kansas City. It's time for our July market stat update. But first, before we get to that, our number one question we've been asked this past month is about forbearance. How many homes are in forbearance and what is the impact that we will feel on our community and national overall? So as we look at the forbearance numbers over this past year, we're actually seeing 50% less homes in forbearance, which is great news for everyone. And the current number of homes in forbearance is 1.6 million. And even if all those homes went for sale today, with the equity that we have in them, we'd see very few um, foreclosures and we would see those homes sold within two months of inventory, which is great news for anyone who needs those options. So the key is for anyone who's in forbearance and needs to get out of their home, there are options and we are here to help anyone that you know. I'm Gina Walton with the Walton Home Team of Keller Williams. Looking forward to updating you on the Kansas City market and here for your friends and family who need any assistance on buying, selling, or investing in real estate. Now, when we look at the year past from July 2021 to July of 2020, we're gonna see that the amount of homes sold is actually up 7.2%. And the inventory that we currently have is less 28.2% in all of Kansas City. Now, for those of you who have been following these monthly updates, our inventory has been negative over 50% for several months now. And so for us to see it at 28.2% is just a sign that we're slowing down just a touch. Although in all the price ranges, we still have a seller's market. Curious how this impacts you, your friends, or family? Let us know. We're happy to just have a conversation. 913-449-1950.